Three second intro sequence for Tumblr. Okay. Adult life tip. Do not buy a cabbage unless you have one of the following. One, a recipe that uses a whole cabbage. Two, 200 recipes that use some cabbage. Or three, a desire to waste an entire half cabbage. Four, a desire to aid your local cabbage merchant who's struggling financially because so much of their crop was destroyed in a series of bizarre incidents involving a 12-year-old martial artist. <laughs> References. My cabbages! May I ask why you were at an old abandoned shack in a forest? Hey, what's with all the questions, hmm? Trying to get into my shack? Well, you can't. It's mine. I earned it. What do you think of the moon? I sure hope it stays where it is. I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, it moves a little sometimes. What the devil are you talking about? My favorite insult has got to be, he, she, they got the personality of a wet mop. It's such a raw line. One man's cringe is another man's epic, and a flawed story is still a thousand times better than a story never told, are two pieces of advice that a lot of people aspiring to be writers really need to take to heart. Stop tearing yourself up over getting every little insignificant thing right. Just write a story you enjoy, man. Thinking about the matte blue Scooby-Doo fruit snack. Look at it. You sometimes wonder if it's actually food. You know what? This this post in particular is too British for me. Andy, you're up. The cashier had charged me for four, yet I had got five delicious sausage rolls. She was deceived by the bag. Alas, the universe fixed itself in haste by tearing the bag making me drop one sausage roll. But I wouldn't let myself be meddled with so easily. So I ate it. The universe counted again by giving me food poisoning. Total equilibrium. Good job, Andy. Looks like we can't isolate, ignore, ibuprofen our way out of this one, boys. I'm still gonna try. Hey. I can be a pretty boy, handsome girl. Don't even worry about it. The only new track versus old track discourse I want to hear about is the aspect ratios. I'm begging us to talk about how the 4 by 3 aspect ratio meant that actors were literally four inches from each other's faces at all times in order to be caught in the same frame. Hey, 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 hey. no, no, no. They are four inches from each other because they are gay and love each other. 16 by 9 is homophobic. To catch a bus, you gotta think like a bus. Vroom, vroom. Is it data or data? Is it route or route? Is it caramel or caramel? Is it either or either? Is it red or read? I hate all of you so much right now. Fuck English! You don't seem content with this content. By the way, if you're going to make a joke about me pronouncing those things right or wrong, you have to like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules now. Having a hyperfixation and talking to people is like, you know what else has divorce in it? You know who else is a brother? You know what else found an incredible controversy? And you just don't say it unless it's really, really, really funny. <clears throat> you know who else doesn't just say it unless it's really, really funny? Pocky Chow. Are you smart? I'm on tumblr.com. That answers, but also doesn't answer the question. Right clicks you and saves you into a folder called Friends on my desktop. Goes into the folder and clicks and drags you around the screen for fun. So it's like you're on a little roller coaster ride or perhaps a big twisty slide. Ooh. Which of your OCs would commit murder is easy mode. I want to know which of your OCs is most likely to commit identity theft. I want to know which of your OCs is most likely to organize a Ponzi scheme. I want to know which one of your OCs is most likely to engage in tax fraud. Andy, I'm going to assume your evildoer, Sona, would do all three of those. You know, Achilles wouldn't have died if he was wearing OSHA-approved work boots. Don't let workplace safety be your Achilles heel. Hey, why can't you be this funny, Osha? Safety is not a joke!